Everyone, Reginald Conga back with uh, Tyler the R2 dude. That is who I am, usually. Usually. Um, let's not get into your porn alt, you know, for your fetish stuff. Not uh, the kink shame or anything. There's, there's some tentacles there. I see tentacles. <laughs> oh, there are tentacles on the screen. I wasn't paying attention. Yes. Also, holy cow, that's a big mouth. Uh, Which yeah, is weird, because I'm, I'm pretty sure squids don't have mouths. Uh, what? Uh, how do they eat? I don't know. I think they have, like, a single hole that they just shove things into. Oh, okay. And then things come out. Oh, well, let's not talk about that thing. That's a different kind of kink. Yeah, uh, let's talk about, like, the fact that one time I tried doing a playthrough of a Flash game on Cartoon Network. This was, like, a really long time ago, like, ten years ago or something. I thought it'd be really fun to do it, and then I realized the footage was unusable. Not because I was recording it with a camcorder, but because it got, like, like, like I was leaning back and forth in my chair, because I, like, one of the things about autism is you move back and forth sometimes. You have, like... You know what I mean? Like, when someone taps their foot different ways. Yes, I know. I, I tap my foot all the time. Like, okay, I'm okay. Gonna move, my leg moves all the time. Well, I was moving that. I was moving back and forth in the chair, and it sounded like I was having sex with someone, or someone was having sex in the background, or, you know. Ooh. I mean, at, I mean what else are you going to do when you're playing a Cartoon Network Flash game? <laughs> No, dude, it's I was like 13 at the time. Whew, starting young. <laughs> That's awful. Um, let's talk about... <laughs> uh, we can talk about something besides fish dicks, but, uh... Okay, that fish is about to die. I'm glad you remembered and booted up the right part, because I forgot well. to tell you we were doing Freddy Fish Part 3, because, like, uh, if you started up Monster yeah. Dick's Screen Team, I would have been pissed off. And right, I wouldn't have yeah, known no. about it. I wouldn't have even known about it until halfway through. <laughs> yeah, I, I started Freddy Fish for three. Oh, here's uh, a reference to a guy who smashes watermelon. He's I don't know turtle. what his name is. Yeah, this is Turtle. I'm going to call him Turtle. Turd for short. He's the Turtle from Dragon Ball. Oh, okay. I thought you were making a Diary of a Wimpy Kid reference and I was going to complete it for you. Oh, uh, no. No, I was not. I'm too old for that. <laughs> uh, an old fart. Oh, you, you grew up after they were popular? Or some I shit? was in college when I first found out that they existed because my brother was into them. Oh, okay. Didn't so, know you, yeah. You went to I was college. a little too old. Didn't you go to college when you were like, uh, dang, I messed that punch on up. I was going to say something like, didn't you go to college for three days? No. I mean, I know it was a joke that you're doing, but no, no. I, I went to college for a few years. It's just that the amount of work accumulated to about three days. <laughs> I, I should mention at this point that I actually have graduated from the university as of the time of recording this. I got my diploma, actually, and... Uh, and he thinks he's better than me now. I, I, I'm practically free at this point, but I gotta go back to uh, community college and get this one certificate. I won't say exactly what I'm doing, like, because I, I, I don't want someone to hack into my, like, you know, diploma. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense <laughs> you won't want to do that. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a joke, but anyway, uh, so we, we used to, we used to key to open that, even though we probably so, could have just hacked okay. it open with the pliers. Whoever was flying that is probably dead, you realize that, right? They probably crashed yeah, into the river and died. It's probably uh, uh, Amelia Earhart there, you know, it's probably her playing. There's something on the History Channel about, like, a photograph that they found um, of Amelia Earhart, reportedly, reportedly, because it wasn't true, but they said it might have been the last time she was seen, and it was in... Some dude from Japan looked it up in, on Google in about, like, half an hour or something, and they were like, this is not right, this is not Amelia Earhart, this is just a... A travel brochure. So I, I can't remember what it actually was. I think it was some sort of calendar, but it was some shit like that. It was some sort of promotional thing, so there was no way it was Amelia Earhart. Yeah. It, like, because it was like years after she died or something. 
Or maybe it was before that happened. I can't remember, but you get the idea. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, yeah I mean, it is History Channel. They, they also, like, love to say things about aliens all the time. Uh, yeah, I was just saying, like, I found it interesting because I think that was, like... Actually, that was recent. Never mind. I was going to say that was, like, before they started doing the alien shit, but... No, they, uh... I kind of lost my train of thought. I used, I used to love launching History Channel, and then they they just turned everything into the whole like you know let's talk about aliens and shit like that. They they went like, they went like fucking berserk. They went rogue. yeah. It was either that or if it, it was stuff like Ice Road Truckers and yeah, other like reality, reality shows. Yeah, reality shows. No one I mean, watches, that's not what I'm here for. No one watches History Channel for history anymore. And it'd be cool if you. I, I did. Did. I was watching History Channel for that. You were you were giving them like a penny every half hour from like the ad revenue or something. Somehow, I I don't know how I don't know how TV works anymore because I forgot because it's all about the online and streaming now. But you know, yeah. So we returned here just for shits and giggles. I figured I'd say hello to him, and he's not interested in talking because he's in a damn jail cell, but you know. Putt-Putt is on the wall. Putt-Putt is on the wall. Oh, I didn't see that. I wish I'd paid more attention. Yeah, Putt-Putt was on the wall of the, uh, of the jail cell. Look, look, look at it next time we go back there. I don't think we're going back there until part four when we go to the end game or something. Well, then, look, look, look at it then. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. That guy's weird nose. I think it's a girl. Or girl. Look, okay, I, I can't hear it, so I... Well, it might be I don't know. I don't know, because like, I think they... Because they hire it, um, female, like, voiceover actresses to do, like, kid actors, so I don't know. Uh, it could be gender neutral. I, I, don't, I don't know. It could be gender neutral. They, they. they yeah. Oh, I kind of just assumed it was a guy because of the giant horn sticking out of the front. Is that like an actual thing in like Narwhal Anatomy? I don't know if the females have that. I really don't know. They they probably do, but you know, dick joke. So oh, I just okay. kind of assumed. You're being an my ass. My mind always you assume? my mind just goes there immediately. I don't know. There's some joke like assuming makes an ass out of you and me or some shit. It's not funny, and it's kind of used as, like, an excuse to be a dick to the other person instead of just being like, oh, I'm sorry, you misunderstood. Not apologize, but you know what I mean. Right, Just right. say it's okay, you, you misunderstood or something. Um, I think this is the part where we get, like, the third one, or no, I think this is only the second one. Yeah, the second one. There's a cutscene what are we doing about again? to I... that we can't hear, but it's... What were you gonna say? I, I've, I've literally forgotten what the entire plot of this already was, to be honest. Yeah, we need to get these three horns so the dogfish can, like, sniff out the perpetrator. And here's the cutscene I was gonna talk about. This guy's uh, like. Why? What? There's hair. How does a fish have hair? It could be fins, just styled differently. Uh, I think that's a deformity. I was gonna say this. These two people are like really upset about the festival maybe being canceled because we need to get that the last like piece of the fucking horn. I don't remember what it's called. I just I played this a while ago. It's probably gonna be a really long time ago by the time we upload this. We've been trying to do these in advance. Why, why are we talking to a monkey? I don't know why we're talking to a monkey. How are we talking to a monkey? I thought there was more shit to do in that area, and I found out there wasn't. I mean, it's, you know, it happens. So, like, if we can talk to the monkey, does that mean... No, wait, that's not evolution, because evolution says we came from a common ancestor of a chimp. We, we didn't come from monkeys, we came from a common ancestor of a chimp, you know. I'm trying to figure out where that fucking owner of the wallet is. On screen uh, right now. Is there any money inside? If, there mo if there's money inside, I'm the owner of that wallet. No, uh, we can't. We have to return to its rightful owner, and we get like one orange sea urchin because of it, and it's like, you know. We should just keep it. Yeah, we should just keep it. 
I think I do visit the carnival for a little while. Oh, no, not the carnival. This this asshole's like... Um, Is that dude a shark? You know, we have to give him the sea urchins. Yeah, it's a shark, but he's like not a dangerous shark in this universe because they didn't want to talk about blood and stuff. So. Um, I, I don't think... We have to give him... We have to give these... Go ahead. I don't think I'd be trusting him. Okay, a shark that's like... Yeah, we, he rips us off, by the way, in this part, because, like, we gave him the four fucking sea urchins, and he's like, first of all, we can't give them to him, like, all at once, we have to give it to him one one at a time, and he bites each one individually, he gives, he gives a, tell, I don't know, but anyway, they, we, we get inside, and it fucking sucks, there's just one mini game that's fucking, I think it's like, Tetris or something. Okay, do you see those eyes moving up there? Or a puzzle game, at least. I'm like, I don't want to play that. I thought there'd be, like, shit in there for me to do. It's, like, relevant to the plot or the point and click or whatever. Do you see the eyes moving? It's just a game. The mo yeah, the eyes on the fucking funhouse. It's weird. That I think it's sentient. That's a, I'm telling you, that is a shark that is trying to trick a little fish to go inside so it can eat him. No, we we are going inside this other booth. We're not going inside. We already went inside the funhouse, right? No. <laughs> no. Uh. So uh, this is the part where we like where I like fuck around with this and then immediately decide, you know, no, I don't really want to do this. This is weird. Cause uh, this is a point and click game. I like point and click. I don't like to fuck around with this shit. Um. I don't even. I don't even remember the rules. Okay, what is this? What, what, what? I should have cut this out. What are we doing? Uh, I think this is like main bean machine. Puyo Puyo? Puyo Puyo, Doctor yeah. Doctor Robotnik's Puyo Puyo Avalanche. <laughs> no, dude. Um, so I, I get fed up with this shit like after a while and I'm like, gosh, I, I want to leave. What a rip off. Oh, that was loud. Oh, that, that had nothing to do with point and clicking. So I'm still looking for the under this fucking wallet. Try that thing? Okay, it just sneezes. This is, uh, um, do they just like sit there and wait until like <laughs> other people show up so they can do dancing? I don't know if they're like real fish or if that's like an animatronic shit. That's really convincing animatronics if, if it is. Not really. Also, they had hair too. Dude. Um, okay, so that's the part where I realized I couldn't save my game. I actually had to like figure this out on my own. I was going to save the game, look up the answer, and then like sign back in and load my save. And I realized I couldn't do that, so I'm like... Maybe I'll just finish the playthrough on my own. As you do. <laughs> um, it's almost the end of the part, but I don't know what to talk about for like one minute exactly. I feel like if we talk about Sonic, it will go on too long. Hmm. Um, uh... Let's talk about the economical ramifications of this society. A fish where they use just everyday common things they can find off the ground as currency uh, I think they only use sea urchins as currency exactly sea urchins you can find like... them all over the place well we use cotton for no reason well we use gold that, that's technically our, our currency is, is I think these sea urchins are living things like, do the sea urchins like represent oh, okay. some other like valuable mineral Oh, I don't think so. I think it's like when you, uh, I, I, I think we should have done that in part four because now I'm like, it's over no. now. Well, whatever. I don't really care anyways. <laughs> All right. See everybody in part four when we finish this off. Yeah. Big McThinkies from McSpankies.